Hi. Did you... Did you forget about me? Certainly not. Okay, good. Because I was, like, kind of bugging over here. Um, big news. Don't tell me you're engaged again. No. I'm enlightened. So I don't need therapy anymore. Something just, like, clicked, you know? Like, bingo, bitch. Elaborate, please. This week, I took five tabs of acid. <laughs> the biggest trip I've ever done. Wait, I take that back. And you think the acid enlightened you? That's just the afterglow. It's a well-documented phenomenon. The ego doesn't dissolve without some serious suffering. Well, I happened to have a very serious wedgie the entire time. So, how's about that? Anyways, I just wanted to let you know we don't need to keep doing this after this week because I'm good. Can you tell my dad that? You want me to tell your father that you're enlightened? That's like literally your job, isn't it? To my eyes, you are still the Puella Eternus. Are you currently working at all? Yes. I'm not just sitting around twiddling my clit. Haven't you seen? I've gotten huge on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. No, I am social media free. It is very hard to use social media and write a book. Well, congratulations, Miss Offline. But get this, even my dad noticed this week. He hit me up when I got a million TikTok followers. Ooh! Ah. A milli, 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 a you ghostwrite my book. Ghostwrite your book? Think about it. You know, we'll take my audience and whatever it is that makes everyone obsessed with me <laughs> with your hard work and genius ideas. We'll make the biggest astrology bestseller literally ever. I mean, we'll have to rebrand, of course. The mechanism of astrology for millennials and Zoomers. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. You can do the old people. I'll handle the young crowd. They'll be like Puella and Senex combined, right? See? I've been reading Young too. Young. And you must be careful with his work. You have to strengthen your own psyche first or else Jung could overtake your own. Okay. I didn't want to have to tell you this, Evelyn. My dad said, the only way he's going to publish your book is through me. You need an audience to do anything these days, right? And you don't have one, and mine is, like, fucking ripe for the brainwashing. No, I can't do this. But the advance is going to be fat, okay? No, I can't do this. I worked with Wolfgang Gigerei. Evelyn, don't you see? You don't have to do anything. You just send me the manuscript, and I'm literally going to take care of the rest. I was imagining, like... I don't know, like a pink matte cover with like black sparkle font? I don't no! know. No! No? No! But this is exactly what you wanted. I'm giving it to you on a fucking silver platter. Don't you see it? This is, this is it. This is what you said. My dad is going to publish your book. <laughs> Are you fucking crying right now? You should be smiling. Give me a little smile. Just a little one. <gasps> There she is, beautiful. So, are we good here? Cause like, my dad has been hitting me up non-fucking-stop. I've just been so busy between TikTok and then I started fucking this couple. Oh my God, they're insane, Dr. Fox. It's like, which one of them is better at eating me out? Good question. No, I didn't ask you. It's like, she knows how to make me come really fast. I don't wanna hear that. He puts in the work. It's cute. You need help. 
<laughs> you are my help. <laughs> so, gladiator. What's it gonna be? Give it to me. Give it to me. No. No? No, I can't do this. My integrity is at stake. Fuck your integrity. You have avocado for brains. You could call me twice exceptional, yes? <gasps> no, no, I'm, I'm not calling you twice exceptional. I'm saying that you're a fucking pussy, okay? You act like you are so much smarter than everyone else. That, that you have this amazing book and that destiny's behind you, but you know what? You're not. And even if you were, you are way too big a fucking pussy to do literally anything with that big brain of yours. You know what? This conversation is no longer productive, Ruby. I will see you next week. Goodbye. <sighs> ah! What the fuck are you? What What is happening? Um, I, I thought my camera would turn off. <laughs> What's behind you? Don't worry about that. Uh, uh, what is this? Oh, just a... Uh, just this art project. You don't need to worry your pretty little head about you it. You look like a fucking hoarder. Um, no, it's just, just some, just some things I've been collecting recently. For what? For an art project about consumerism. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Earth to Evelyn, I am staring at your fucking underwear right now. You're in a session. Uh, you don't look okay. Do I need to call in a wellness check for you? I literally don't care if it makes me a fucking Karen. <sighs> Dr. Faustus and Mephistopheles. Jeffrey Herman and his bottle. In English, dumbass. Sold my soul. To the devil when I agreed to take you on as a client. And that's why I'm in hell now. <laughs> oh, it's my fault, huh? It's always fucking my fault, isn't it? Like, fuck you. That's such bullshit. Like, yeah, you know, the plague fucking sucks, but I didn't do anything to you and, and, and I just gave you the fucking opportunity of a lifetime, okay? I'm trying to make you famous. Like, fucking celebrate. Look. Whoa. Where are you taking me? Look. I don't want to see your weird goon cave. What am I looking at? It's my manuscript rejection letter, Wall. I thought it would inspire me, but for some reason it's not working. Yeah, maybe because it's fucking tragic. I've heard back from every... Publishing house in New York, except for one. Well, I know a guy. <laughs> you had his own psychotic breakdown, and he welcomed it with open arms. I... Metanoia. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I was a fucked up one. What's happening? What are, what are you ripping? Hey, is that the fucking book? Stop it! Evelyn, stop! Oh my god, stop, please, stop, don't do it, don't do it! Where's my phone, where's my phone, where's my phone? I was taking selfies before this. God, I'm so fucking caked from that squat challenge, pog alert! <laughs> Ruby, do you know how I know you're not enlightened? Because if you were, you would have jumped off a cliff from the sheer embarrassment of your existence! Did my therapist just tell me to kill myself? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just... Just give me... Just give me a second. Just, just let me... It's just, it's just projection. It's just counter-transference. It's just... Chill very common. It's very common. It's very common in therapy. <laughs> Evelyn, just give me the book. Just give me a minute. Just to calm down, okay? You can't destroy your book. 
going to be okay. No. Bad. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I'll give you my book. Really? A fat talk on plea. <laughs> I'm gonna be an author. <laughs> we will resurrect Jung together. Fuck yeah, we will. Manifest destiny, baby. Yes, I knew you would do this. I knew it. I know you're upset, but this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good thing, okay? We'll keep in touch and you just send me that book and we'll get it all figured out, okay? All right, bye writing buddy. Relax, go to therapy. So Mota Chalbi.